So we've got our player ship and we have flying octopi, but we need some way for our guy to be able to shoot things. So we're going to give him a weapon and some ammo, and this is where we start getting into some scripting. Uh, but first of all, we need to make another sprite, and for that, uh, we need the shot.ping. And if you don't have that yet, you can find that on the matching website. The link is right above this video. And I'm going to take shot.ping, drag it into textures. This is the kind of thing that we've been doing before. And I'm going to make sure that it is a texture type of sprite, which it is. That's cool. And up here in the hierarchy, I'm going to go ahead and make a sprite. And we're going to call this shot. And the sprite is going to be the shot image and we also need to add another component to it we need to add a rigid body 2d and the gravity on that is going to be zero and we'll go ahead and select fixed angle and we're going to add another uh, component a box collider 2d and we'll set the uh, size on this one to 0.75 and 0.75 and I don't see it up there in the scene so I'm going to go up here and make sure that there we go we need to make sure that the Z is at zero okay so we can see it now here in the scene view go ahead and put it down here so that he's even with the pool P oh and before we uh, move completely away from the inspector uh, back of, over in here we need to check the is trigger box in the box collider 2d component of the shot and that's because uh, we, we want some aspects of of the physics engine to handle this basically the collision we want to know when the shot collides with something but we don't want it to have any interaction uh, like we saw earlier when the the pool pee ran into the ship and it pushed the ship away that's because we had uh, physics actually the physics bodies themselves being able to hit by setting is trigger to true for the shot we will get the event notice, uh, the event notification, but it won't actually, you won't be able to push the shot around on the screen. All right, there we have a shot, and we need a new script, and we're going to call this one shot script. Let's go ahead and edit this. We need a public variable. It's an integer damage equals one, and this is how much damage the shot can actually do. And then we need another one. That's a boolean is enemy shot. And this is going to equal false. This is, uh, is the shot that is, is going out of the weapon right now, will it damage the player or the enemies? And that's because we're going to be using the shot script for both the player guy and the pool pee as they're flying around. And then we don't need update, so I'm going to get rid of that. And inside of start, uh, basically, we're just going to put something in here to destroy uh, this object that we're creating. Whenever a shot is created, it'll automatically be destroyed after 20 seconds. And that's so that if it misses and goes off the screen, it doesn't fly for eternity and uh, suck up memory. So that's it for shot script. Go ahead and save that. And then let's switch back over to Unity. And we can see down here in the bottom, uh, an error message did not show up. That means we didn't have any... Uh, any typos. So now we're going to attach the shot script uh, to the shot itself. And we're also going to attach the move script so that the shot can actually move across the screen. Now if we start the game with the play button here, you'll see something, oh, okay, the shot moved but it was actually going the wrong way. That's because we need to select it here and over in the inspector we need to change the direction that it is going. In fact, we want to change the, uh, in move script, we want to change the speed to 15. And the direction instead of negative 1, which will take us to the left, we want it to just be 1, which will make us move to the right. All right, let's go ahead and save that and launch it and see what happens. Okay, that's cool. I mean, halfway cool. We've got the poopy going one way. We've got the shot going the other way. Um, not, it doesn't, doesn't kill it yet, but we'll get into that. And to do that, we need a new script called health script.
couple uh, public variables here. An integer, how many hit points equals two, the amount of health that something has. And a boolean is enemy equals true. And now we're not going to use uh, we're not going to use either one of these. I'm going to leave this here so I don't have to type as much. And this one's going to be on trigger enter 2D. And this is what happens uh, when, when one physics body hits another one. We get this uh, notification here. And what's passed in is a collider 2D. And we'll just call it collider. So the first thing we need to do is find out whether what we're colliding with is a shot. So there's the collider that's passed in, and then we grab the game object from that, and then this is really cool when I discovered this thing here, get component. So you can actually get one of the components that we've attached to uh, whatever game object you're looking at. And this one, we're looking to see if there is a shot script on, uh, as, as one of the components. So basically we've got a, a variable of type shot script and it's called shot and we're setting it to whether the object that collided uh, has a shot script or not. So now once we have that we can do if if shot is not equal to null and then we need to check and see if, if the shot is hitting against an enemy or not. Okay, autocomplete uh, often is your friend, but not always. So the HP goes down, and then we have to destroy the game object. And in this case, it is the uh, game object of the shot that we just hit. And then finally, we need to check and see whether uh, this object that we hit, that this poopy that we hit, is actually going to be dead. So if HP is less than or equal zero, then, thank you very much. Destroy game object. Okay, and that should do it. Let me save that. Run back over to Unity. And we have a problem on line number 24. So I'm going to go back over here lowercase game object I'm gonna blame that on autocomplete all right and now we the error is gone we do have a warning there and we will come back to that so we need to attach this health script to the pool pee prefab and since the prefabs are down in here and the scripts are down in here it's hard to get to it so this is a good spot where one column layout comes in handy because now you can see the prefabs and the scripts all at once. So I'm going to do this. All right, now let's go ahead and try this. And you'll notice that the warning message has gone down. That's because I actually, I paused the video and then found a, a script that I had attached to the player that I was playing around with between the last video and this one. Anyway, uh, it, it's gone. Should never been there in the first place. Let's go ahead and try this now. We've got the shot here on the same line as the pool pee. We've got the health script running now or in, in there. And you can see, well, it, it looked like it worked, except that the, the shot disappeared, which is good, but the pool pee didn't, didn't disappear. Okay, and the reason for that is because the shot, remember we said that it, it does one point of damage, but if we look at the pool pee, we can see that the pool pee has HP of 2. So if we cut that down to 1, so there's only one hit point for the pool pee, and let's go ahead and try that again. Ah, now we, okay, that's better. So now we get, let's go, let's pull the uh, pool pee back over here so we can get a little bit more time there. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so as soon as the shot hits the pool pee, uh, it kills it, and of course the shot goes away as well. Okay, the shot is done, at least for now, and so we're going to uh, get it off the scene, but we need to make a prefab out of it. So we will drag it down here into the prefabs folder, 
and then go ahead and delete it from up here in the scene. We need a new script to fire shots. And so let's go ahead and create a new one. And this one's going to be called Weapon Script. And it's actually going to be used by the player. It'll be also be used by the Pool P. And instead of typing this one out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy and paste the whole thing because it's a much longer one than what we've been dealing with. So use the link right up above this video uh, to go to the correct page and do a search uh, for do a search for weapon script and then you, that'll jump you down to the the correct part of the written tutorial and you can copy the code from there but let's just look at uh, the three different sections section one the designer variables we've got a, a couple public variables here one is shot prefab it's a transform and I'll show you how to use that in a moment uh, the other one's a, a float a floating number uh, of the shooting rate and this is the cooldown in seconds between two shots. And because it's public, we'll be able to edit that in Unity in the inspector. Uh, here's the, the cooldown section itself. We just need to keep the gun from firing too often. And finally, number three is kind of cool. You're shooting from another script. And we'll get into that one. But in another script, we'll actually make use of this code right here inside of this script. So let me make sure this is saved and switch back over to Unity. And we're going to attach weapon script to the player. And now we're going to take a look at that in the inspector. Here's the weapon script. There's the script. There's the shooting rate. There's the shot prefab. And we don't have anything in there. So what we need to do is grab the shot prefab. Drag it over in here. And now we're good to go on that. And of course we're working on the prefab here. But if we look up at player in the hierarchy, we can see that here's the weapon script. The shot prefab's filled in, and the shooting rate is the one that we had before, too. Now, if we launch the game at this point, nothing will have changed at all because we need a way to actually fire the weapon. And so let's go back to player script, open that up, and uh, down in here, we're going to set up a Boolean and shoot equals input dot get button down. And we're looking for fire one. Or we could take uh, input, get button down, fire two. Either one is fine. These here are back over. We looked at these before uh, when we were moving the player around. If we go into Unity, Edit, Project Settings, Input, we can see here's fire one, which is the left control, and fire two, which is left alt. So now we see if shoot has been set and we're going to do the thing that we did before weapon script weapon equals get component And basically, the, the code that we just put in there, we read the input from left, alt, or control. We grab the weapon script, and then we call attack. So let's run back over to Unity. And, of course, that script is already attached to the player. So let's just go ahead and run this. And now if I hit the left, alt, or control key, we should get missiles. Now, if you think the bullets are too slow, you can uh, select shot in project in the prefabs and then go in and move the, the speed of those. If you want to be able to fire faster, then we can go to the weapon script and we could change the shooting rate down to, let's just say, uh, 0.1 and try that. Okay, yeah, so he shoots a lot faster that way. And we probably do want the uh, probably do want the shots to move a little bit faster. Let's bump those up to 20. I mean, if the ship can go as fast as the shot, it's a pretty slow shot. There we go. Okay, we can also slow the ship down. He's moving pretty 
pretty quick here. But we've got a ship moving around, firing uh, horribly effective shots. We don't have as many pool peas, but we'll get to that too. So we have a shooter. Now it's, it's very, very basic, of course, uh, but it's still a shooter. And we need to add more enemies, and we need the enemies to be able to shoot at us. So we're going to take care of that in the upcoming videos.